Blooms of harmful algae, commonly called a red tide, can have devastating impacts on human health and aquaculture, wiping out entire fish farms in a single night. China's Institute of Oceanology has developed a method to mitigate the impact of the algae. It's working with Malaysian experts to use the technology there. Ryan Meltzer reports from Kelantan, Malaysia. Malaysian researchers gather water samples on the country's northeast coast. Their lab here is a hub for research on the numerous species of harmful algae, some of which cause red tide. Excessive growth of harmful algae can make shellfish toxic for humans to consume or starve fish of oxygen, causing mass die-offs and painful economic losses to fish farmers. Scientists believe that climate change will lead to more frequent harmful algae blooms or red tides, increasingly threatening people's health and livelihoods, as well as food security. Just like uh, with the analogy of this fire prevention system, the, the farmer or the aquaculture operator need to equip themselves uh, with the technology and know-how to prepare for all these occurrence. Malaysian researchers are teaming up with Chinese scientists to test a modified clay technology developed in China to combat red tide and other harmful blooms of algae. The harmful algal blooms is a kind of ecological disaster. We just introduced this kind of cutting edge uh, harmful algal bloom uh, controlling technologies to several countries, uh, including the United States, Peru, or Turkey and Malaysia, Singapore, etc. Scientists in China have modified the surface of the clay particles so that they more efficiently bind with the harmful algae, causing them to settle on the floor of the ocean or lake. There are so many approaches could be used you know, to kill these organisms, but we wish to use some very green and environmental friendly technologies. So. We just use the clay, and the clay, you know, is from the natural soil. So the major ingredient is very green and uh, environmentally friendly. And after uh, the treatment and the removal efficiency of the cyanobacterial organisms could reach over 90% within only 10 or 15 minutes. We would like to use it and test it with different algae species in our local settings so and to see how efficient they are in the removal. And of course, we hope that this technology will be helpful uh, to the aquaculture industry. When occurrence of algal bloom happens, they can immediately use this to remove the algal bloom from the culture area. We are looking forward for these collaborations to, to be very fruitful and very useful to, to mitigate the harmful effect of uh, bringing hope that a green technology from China can help keep the red from Malaysia's waters. Ryan Meltzer, CGTN, Kelantan, Malaysia.